So first, first of all, I want to thank you for coming to Monday Meditation and always being so diligent and not showing up for me, but showing up for yourself. So today's journey, what I want to talk about and express today is pain. Not just that people are running around with pain, but sometimes the people that we're interacting with project pain onto us. Their pain onto us, our pain onto them. And then that pain can show up in other forms. So when I also talk about pain, sometimes the ones that we've loved that have passed on and the pain that is left because we didn't have the opportunity to say what we wanted to say to them, or they did not have the opportunity to say what they wanted to say to us. This meditation is about moving through our pain, having the conversations that we've always wanted to have, because we don't have to have it here in this time, but we can have that conversation in timelessness, and it is heard just the same whether the person is living or not so even if it's that person who's right here right now stubborn and won't listen because they're in pain or that there is a pain between you it doesn't matter because when we speak in timelessness we are speaking to our higher through our higher selves and to their higher selves and it transcends all time and space as we view it today. So I want you to sit back and I want you to get comfortable. And whether you're sitting or laying, I want you to close your eyes and we're gonna start our focus. And I want you to breathe in over a count of seven, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release it slowly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, breathe in, slowly, hold it, release it, slowly, take your time because there's always breath, and hold it. Last time. Breathe in. Hold it. Release it. Hold it. Breathe normally, keeping your eyes closed. Check in with your body. Where do you feel stress? Where do you feel discomfort? And I want you to breathe into that space. Check your forehead, behind your eyes, drop your jaw. Relax and swing your neck if you need to, to just stretch out of your shoulders. Relax your shoulders and make sure they're not up by your ears, that they're relaxed. And notice your rise and fall of your chest and your belly. Let your shoulders hang with their arms and let your weight of your hands and your wrists just relax into the position you're in. 
Relax your hips, your thighs, your knees. Make sure that your feet are not crossed, but they're grounded into the floor. Or just the weight of your legs, if you're lying down, are there. And I want you to come to that heart space, and we always go to the heart space because it is sacred. It is the horizontal and the vertical. It is the five senses and beyond. This is why we go to the heart space. It is our door, our gatekeeper of our happiness, our joy, our emotions, our perceptions, our spirituality, and our physical being. We go to our heart space because that is where our light resides. That is where that voice comes from. That second voice, that trusting voice, that instinctual voice. And there as we sit in our heart space, it is not dark, it is light. It is the beauty of the day. It is the beautiful green trees in the field of grass. It is the water flowing by. It is the gentle breeze that moves the leaves just ever so slightly, touching our skin. It is the warmth of the light as it shines down over us, warming us, keeping our body temperate. And there lays a beautiful and inviting white blanket. We move over from our sitting space into that white blanket. We lie down, looking up at the blue skies. Maybe there's a cloud, maybe there isn't. It doesn't matter. It is the vastness of all that is in the sky and beyond. We feel the sun shining down. It feels good. And then we reflect. There's been so much to think about, so much to deal with in the here and now. And as we find our emotional body. We are not going to keep this emotional body in us, but we're going to project it over us as if a separate self. And there we see ourselves projected right over us as we lay there on Mother Earth. Nothing changes, there's nothing strange. It is just us, as if we were looking in the mirror. But this projection of us carries pain. It carries the pain that was projected onto us that we did not invite. It carries the pain that we may have projected onto others that we feel sad or guilty about. It is the representation separate from us, the emotional body that holds on to that which is not serving us. We see the pain, we feel the pain, but not within us. It's almost more visual. So instead of holding on to this projection, we ask this projection, whatever caused us pain, let us have that conversation with that being here and now, whether they are living or past. We will reconcile that pain within us, within who we choose to be, whether it is through forgiveness, of the pain that was projected onto us, 
the forgiveness of words that were not nice and the person did not have that chance to apologize. Maybe they've passed on, maybe they've moved on. It doesn't matter. When we reconcile for our own being, we bring forward a freedom. A freedom of vision, a freedom of being, a freedom to our future because we will not see that future through the eyes of pain no longer. So have the conversation as the song of the heart comes forward.
You feel your heartbeat. It is strong within you. It is time to let go. The song has put the projection of you in light. And with the gentle breeze, you see that light, almost like it's spinning in a clockwise circle around the projection of you. And when you look into your own eyes, you see the pain lifting, going up clockwise with the light, with the turning, with the brightness. You let it know it's okay to let go. And you say within yourself, I release you. I release the pain. I let you go. All that needs to be said has been said. All that needs to be forgiven has been forgiven. All that needs to be reconciled has been reconciled. I will no longer hold the pain that does not serve me. I will no longer take in the pain that is not mine. I will no longer feel or see or embrace through the eyes of pain. Before the projection goes back within you, it is almost like in that light, if it could be rain, it would be a sprinkle of showers. But it's not rain, it is the glimmering light, the light from the above the light that is divine, the light that we hold sacred. It shimmers over the projection of ourselves, of our beings. And at that moment, it is engulfed in the shimmering light and it is cleansed. And in your mind's eye, as you lay there on that white blanket, you hold your hands up to accept yourself in its new state and projection. For your emotional being has been cleansed. And you hear in the distance the words that echo that cleansing. Ira cheta katana namaniya chanta. O chete te kananiya naniya chata. Pranchu titiya tajaya. Ayata dinja. Praria chata teniyatam. Chete katana niyana. Haria chata. Oro chetun chita tana niyata. Pia lo chete kataniyana. Ajiata on Jatatania Pradia Chun Praduna Chia Ari Io Ajiata. You are merged and you feel lighter and you feel the joy that has been brought to you by your emotional body for you were never separate but the energy that does not serve you is no longer present you are in your purest and most joyful and most blissful state of being And you rise from your blanket, merged as one. 
for you were never separate. But the power that you hold in your mind's eye can let go of anything that is not serving your being. You look up at the beautiful blue skies. You see the light as a divine light and cord that has always been there. Through your sacred eyes you see it and you know that is always and ever present and you just smile and you let go walking to just where you sat, where you started, where you began looking at the trees looking at the gentle breeze and the movement of the leaves knowing that that is an acknowledgement for what just took place. The sun shining over you, the breeze gentle on your skin, the warmth. It feels like the glow of love, love from the Father above, love from Mother Earth, and love of yourself. And then you hear the count of your breath, taking a deep, deep breath in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, holding it in that space in between, and releasing it, two, three, four, five, six, seven and holding it in that space in between and relaxing your breath relaxing your body acknowledging your body moving your fingers moving your toes moving your neck and allowing And now fully present in your heart, in your being, in you, you may open your eyes.